Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Very good. All good? Yes. All right. Okay, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, let me try to see if I can turn on my camera. I hear Peter Lies over there. How's Fear Lies doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can hear him, right? So what's what's going on? You know, how's your day going so far? How was work? I um I pre fixing no sorry fixing. Uh, uh, I'm free sixteen or or seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. All right. Yes. That that's when you finished working. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Yes. Seven o'clock. Wow. All right, all right. And so, so what do you do for a living? Sorry. So, so what do you do for a living? So, what is your, you know, what do you do in your job? Um, uh, my job is uh, driving. Well, driving. The, yes. Okay. All right, that's awesome. This is something mean, uh, do you like it? Like, what uh, do you like, like visiting the places, I guess, right? I mean, that's something that you might enjoy, might, might enjoy from your, um, from what you do. So, so like you get like, like what do you transport? And Yes, it's the transportation uh, privado. <laughs> you, you what, I'm sorry? The transportation, why? Privado? Private transportation. Okay, all right, all right, that's awesome. That is awesome, and... Uh... So do you do you enjoy doing what you do? Or what? All right, welcome guys. Welcome. I don't know if you're not understanding everything that I'm saying. Welcome, Maximo, Silvia, Luis, Alejandro, Jaime. How are you? How was your day today? Silvia, how was your day, day today? Teacher. Luis, how was your day today? Everything good? Very good, teacher. Good evening. Very yeah, good. good. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So what's going on? Uh, so how, how, was, how was work? How was work today? What do you do? Where did you go? What places did you visit? My My work is... It was very interesting. Very interesting. Why? Why was it interesting? <clears throat> because I I was fixing a a motor. You you were texting what? I'm sorry. I was fixing a motor. Oh, you're fixing a, an, an engine? Engine. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Okay. So, guys, uh, let's get started then. I'm going to share my screen and let me know if you can see it. Okay. All right. Can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, awesome. Okay, so 
So in today's agenda, guys, we're going to talk about relative clauses, okay? We're going to go over the, you know, um, we're going to learn how to use relative clauses to join two ideas into one. And that's the main objective for tonight, okay? Uh, we're going to learn what a clause is. We're going to go over relative pronouns, which is part of what we got in the, um, in the platform, right? Um, well, on the platform, and then we're going to get some practice at the end, okay? So that's what we're going to see today. Before that, let's get some vocabulary out of the way, okay? So do you know the meaning of egotistical? Who's egotistical here? Repeat, guys. Everybody, repeat. Egotistical. Egotistical. All right. So what is being egotistical? What do you think? Egocentrista. No. Mm, okay. It's kind of like being selfish, you know? All right. It's like being selfish. Do you know what selfish is? Selfish? No? Yeah, selfish is like egoist, right? Thank you. Google Translate. Do not translate, okay? Try to explain it. <laughs> Try to explain it, okay? If I want a translation, I, I would just ask Google. Thank you so Peter, much. I, actually, I, I remember uh MTV program. I don't know. The, the name is Selfish. Uh, something like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Selfish. Okay. All right. Well, so... The meaning of someone ego egotistical, guys, is it's, it's actually self-centered. Someone who only focuses on themselves. He Like, for example, um, actors, right? Actors and singers are egotistical because they think that the world, um, they, they think that the, the universe, you know, um, that surrounds them floats around them, you know, like the, they think that the stars and everything goes float, like, like go around them. You know, they think that they're the center of the world. When you believe that you're the center of the world, then that makes you someone egotistical. Okay. Very good. Sylvia, what is, what is being egotistical? I see that you're taking notes, right? So what is being egotistical? Thank you so much for taking notes. What is it? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's pay attention, right? Very good. Okay. So, uh, Julissa, what do you think? <laughs> what, what would you consider to be someone egotistical? Egotistical is um, someone that can be, um, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know a good friend because she can oh she, he or he she or he sorry can um, share with someone else okay all right so many egotistical guys is like this okay it's like pretending Maybe this is your ex, you know, your ex pure is nada, I don't know, right? But it's basically pretending that you are the center of the world. Got it? Right? Mm -hmm. So that's like pretending, right, that you are the center of the world. Got it? That is so many egotistical. Do you get the idea now? The president of U.S., well, the president hey. of the United States, perhaps, right? I don't know, right? Very good, guys. Very good. Okay, good job. All right, so now, yes, tell me. It's like the last Coca-Cola in the, the desert. In the desert, right? In the desert. The last Coca-Cola, yeah. Well, that's that's our saying, right? That doesn't exist in English. You can't say, oh, you believe you're the last Coca-Cola, right? No, that doesn't exist in English, right? But yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it that's what we call in Spanish, right? 
So, so far so good, guys. Everyone clear as vodka, Petrov, 3,000% alcohol. Yes? No? Todo mundo claro como vodka, Petrov, 3,000% alcohol. Yeah? <laughs> All right, very good. Awesome. Okay, so now what's stingy? Repeat, guys, stingy. Stingy. Stingy, stingy. stingy is when, stingy. when stingy. somebody maybe doesn't like spend a lot of, in this case, money or lend money or, or, or that person is when, um, I don't know, stingy. Um, for example, if you need a favor, when you okay. are in the last, the last week when you receive your pay and you say, please, can you lend me $10? And no, I don't have it. Either he, maybe that person has a lot of money in, in his pocket or her pocket, right? Or maybe for he himself, don't lie by anything because it's very stingy. I don't know okay. if it's, if, I, if it's clear. Okay, I, that's, okay, yeah, kind of, kind of, right? So someone stingy, yeah. someone stingy is this. <laughs> it's codo, <Can> it's codo. <laughs> All right, it's not, it's not that you want to, you don't want to lend money because I don't like lending money. I'm not stingy and I don't like lending money, right? <laughs> I'm not going to lend money to, to, to uh, like to a lot of people, right? So mm -hmm. someone, someone's Back stingy. Canyon. Right, yeah, of course you have to be sometimes, right? It, well, it depends. It depends what you're gonna be stingy with, right? But yeah, it's these guys do, do not say, "Oh, your elbow" in English. That doesn't exist, okay? That's I don't even. That doesn't even make sense in Spanish. I have no idea why we say "colo" to say that someone someone is stingy. Why? Why is that, guys? Why do we say that? What does that have to do with with being stingy? Stingy. You know what I'm saying? Like, what does that have to do with being with being stingy? So basically, what does the word "codo" has to do with being stingy? ¿Qué tiene que ver la palabra "codo" con ser stingy? Pequeño. Tell me. I that that doesn't make sense, guys. <laughs> All right, very good. Nothing. Nothing. It's, I don't uh, know. It's, a yeah, local. It, it's a person um don't uh, extend or extend uh, his arm complete for other person uh, because that is uh, codo elbow because it's a person that don't stand his arm okay there is a uh, explanation in this <laughs> okay all right it's, it's only good. here in the Salvador the meeting the meeting all right, very good, very good. Okay, so okay, so that's only here. Well, yeah, it's only here in El Salvador, right? Very good. So someone's sociable. Who's someone sociable? Good relationship with the old people. Good. Someone who's got a good relationship with with uh with all people. Is that it? Yes. Okay, yeah, well, that's true. It's someone who's got a good relationship with all people, right? Well, not, not all people, but... Uh, but yeah, you know, someone's got a good relationship, okay? All right, then you got, guys, uh, easygoing. Who's someone, who is, who is someone easygoing? Are you easy going? Yes, I'm easy going. So, okay, so someone easy going, how can you define 
someone who is easygoing. Someone easygoing, guys, is um, someone is to... with good vibes or maybe good vibes. Is to related with the people? It's related with what? I'm sorry. Easy to relate, relatable with the people, with another people. With other people, yeah. Okay, so someone who can relate easily with other people. Very good, right? Temperamental. What? What is? Uh, who is someone temperamental? Someone with a uh, um difficult car character. Okay, someone temperamental, guys, is someone who is usually, you know, like this, right? Right. I don't know. It's not friendly. Well, someone temperamental is someone who angry? gets angry easily. Yes. You know. Angry? Yes. Okay. Yes. You know, someone with a bad temper. Okay. Very good. All right. Someone unreliable. I this is the worst type of people for me. This is the people I can't stand. Unreliable. Who's someone unreliable? Unreliable guys is like someone. It's like politicians, you know, politicians, you can't trust them. Someone you can't trust. Public. Okay. Alguien que no puedes, con quien no puedes, en quien no puedes confiar. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So what, what adjective best describes you, ladies and gentlemen? What adjective best describes you? Maximo, what adjective would you say, would you say describes you the best? Sociable. Sociable. You're very sociable. And and easy going. Okay. All right. Very easy going. Very good. Okay. Uh, what about you, Jaime? Jaime what uh, adjective best describes you? Uh, sorry. What what adjective best describes you? So which adjective from the ones that we got here best describes you? Which adjective best describes you? ¿Qué adjetivo te describe mejor? The, 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 the example? Which, no. Which adjective describes you the best? No? All right, Julissa. Which adjective describes you the best? Mm, I'm very sociable, but in my in my day, if you don't know me, you maybe think that I'm a temperamental person because my face is this okay. all the all the day <laughs> yes all right okay very good very good right very good okay do you know someone unreliable um sylvia do you know anyone unreliable or stingy no no, no. in stingy? my case is temperament temperamental right yes. you are temperamental Yes. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. You're very honest too. That's good. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So, anyways, so now let's get started, guys, with the actual um, grammar part of the class. So, I'd like to know over the. Uh, I'd like to go over the explanation of what a clause is. Okay. So, what is a clause? Who would like to help me read? Please help me read, guys, because I cannot read. You know? <laughs> Tell me. Oh, what, is, with that. what is a clause? Can you hear me? Yes. Perfect. Uh, what is a clause? A uh, class, a group of work uh, con containing a subject and predicate and functioning as a member of a complex or a compound sentence. Example. I say that example? Yes. Sample, and the first one said, 
uh, I graduated last year. One class sentence. When I came here, I saw him. Two class sentences. When I came here, I saw him and he greeted me. Three class sentences. All right, great. Okay, so I graduated last year. Very good, guys. So I want you to notice something, okay? You, you need to learn the definition of a clause, all right? Uh, and please, guys, if, you ha if you're there, please turn on the camera. So we know that we're, I know, right, that we want to be in the bathroom taking the class, right? Queremos estar en el baño tomando la clase, right? But let's turn on the cameras, okay? All right, so listen. Um, so it says a group of words, right? So let me ask you something. Do we have a group of words here? Yes or no? Is that a group of words? Yes. Okay, so okay, so so a group of words as that contains a subject, right? Do we have a subject here? Yes. Yes, it's I, right? And then right. a predicate, right? Now, I will change this for a verb, okay? A verb that you need to have a predicate too, but you need to have a verb, right? So, do we have a verb here? Yes or no? Yes, this yeah. is the predicate, right? Well, yes. Predicate with a verb, right? Yes. Check this out. How many sentences do we have here? Two. Sentence. We only have one because a sentence one. will end with a period, right? Okay. Oh, I saw period, but it's comma. <laughs> no, no, it's it's uh, it's a period, right? So we only have one sentence, right? Now, remember, a clause is a group of words containing a subject and a predicate, right? We need to have a verb. Remember that we need to have a verb, okay? So, do you see a subject here? Yes. Okay. Do you see, okay, where is the subject? What is the subject here? How many I, subjects do we have? Two. We have two. We have this one. And other I. We have this one and we have this one. All right. Okay. And we also have a predicate, right? So we, do we have a verb after each of those subjects? Yes or no? Yes. Came. Came and saw. We have came. And so. Have saw, right? Yeah, so. All these is a predicate, right? All of these, okay? So, therefore, we have one sentence and we have two clauses, right? Does that make sense? Okay, so we have two clauses. All right. Now, next, we have, when I came here, I saw him and he greeted me. So... We have a subject, we have a subject, we have a subject, we have a verb, we have a verb, we have a verb, and all of them have, you know, predicates, right? So how many clauses do we have here? Three. We got three clauses, right? Three. All right, very good. So far, so good? Hasta ahora todo bien? So far, so good? Yes. All right. Very good. So then, guys, we have, you know, types of clauses, right? We have independent clauses. We have dependent clauses, right? We're going to see that, okay? All right. But before that, okay, let's do a quick exercise, right? Because we need to practice what a clause is. I want you guys to identify a clause, okay? So if I say this, guys, um, because no one... So the airplane is this a sentence? Yes or no? No. Why not? Why is this not a sentence? Because we, we don't have a subject. Because we don't have a subject. Okay. 
All right. Uh, so we don't. Are you sure we don't have a subject here? The subject is no one. The subject is no one, right? Okay. Very good. Uh, all right. So. Okay. So no one, right? No one is the subject. Okay. So now, okay. is this a sentence then? No, it's not a sentence because we're missing information, right? Doesn't it sound like we're missing information? Yes. All right. Very good. Okay, so is this a clause? All right, very good. All right, guys, I'm asking, right? Because I don't know, I need help. <laughs> it, according to the definition, guys, is this a clause, yes or no? It's a clause. It is a clause, right? Because we have a subject, we have a verb, verb and we have and a predicate. Whole predicate, right? All right, very good, exactly. So yes, it is a clause. All right. Now it's not a sentence because the idea doesn't make sense, but makes sense by by itself, right? So it's not in that sense, it's not a clause, okay? So because we need some more information here, right? Because we need more information here, it turns out that that's going to be um it turns out this is a Jesus Christ. Hold on, guys. Hold your horses. Okay, this is what we call the dependent clause. All right? Mm -hmm. Why? Because if I said, guys, because no one saw the airplane, this right here sounds weird, doesn't it? Doesn't it sound weird to you? Because no one saw the airplane. Doesn't it sound weird to you guys and girls? No suena raro que alguien diga porque nadie ve el avión. Doesn't it sound like it needs more information? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Because because it it sounds like we need more information. And we have, you know, we have a subject and we have a verb. So we know it's a clause, right? But because we need more information, that is dependent, okay? This is pretty much like your ex-toxic or toxic, right? They were very depending on you. Yes, or oh, I don't know, maybe you might have been the dependent one, right? <laughs> All right, anyways. Okay. So we need more information. So perhaps we need something like, oh, you know what? Cheyenne. Cheyenne was very surprised, right? Cheyenne was very surprised. Now, let me ask you something. Is this a clause? Yes or no? Cheyenne was very surprised. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Yes, right? It is a clause. Why is it a clause? Because we have a subject and we have a predicate, right? Very good. That's the reason why. Correct? Cheyenne was very surprised because no one saw the airplane. All right. Now, yes. So we have one here, the subject, we have the verb, and then we have the whole predicate. Now, so notice how we can join these two clauses together, right? Now, if I said, guys, if I said Cheyenne was very surprised, 
does it sound like I need more information for my thought to make sense or no? If if you um mm, I I don't know this is it will be a a sentence right because she makes sense it makes sense. Yeah, it could be a sentence. That's that's correct, right? So it doesn't sound as if we need more information, right? No suena como que necesitamos más información para que esa oración ya está, estaba bien sorprendido tenga sentido. That's what I'm saying, right? Si yo digo, porque nadie vio el avión, nadie va a entender, right? Porque cómo vas a iniciar una oración porque nadie vio el avión, right? Unless you're answering some, or something, right? However, Chien was very surprised yeah, you can say Chia está bien sorprendido, and the idea makes sense, see? So it it's a it's an independent clause, right? So we call these guys an independent clause. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is it an independent clause? Because the idea makes sense on its own. So now let's join these two ideas together. And how many sentences do we have here? How many sentences do you see here? One. Okay. So you see one. One right? sentence with two clauses. I think so too. All right. Very good. So you got exactly, guys. You got one sentence with two clauses, right? So you got Chen was very surprised because no one saw the airplane, right? This is one sentence, right? Just one sentence. I'm using a mouse, guys. So, right? And we have two clauses. You got clause one here, right? You got clause one. And over here, you got clause two okay sounds good all right so you got two clauses and you got one sentence right very good very good okay so i want everybody guys okay this is the exercise that we're gonna try right now i want everybody you know what? i'm not gonna get rid of the uh example i want everybody to write down in your notebook five sentences with two clauses, okay? Quiero que todos en su cuaderno me hagan ahorita en su cuaderno cinco oraciones con dos clauses, each of them. Okay? Got it? Cinco, cinco oraciones y dos cláusulas en cada oración. Got it? So, for example, five of, five, it's like five of these, right? There's like five of these, right? Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. And I want you to then identify them, right? You're going to identify them here. So I'm going to give you five minutes to finish that. So let's go.
let's see what we got. Uh, Alejandro, what are your examples? I have three examples now. Okay. Uh, the first one that I wrote, it's, uh, I like taking photos and she loves posing. Okay, so it's, um. so I like taking photos and she loves posing. Okay, all right. Very good. What is the other example you got? I have the second one. Mark prefers flying, but Maria always wants to take a bus. Okay. Mark prefers flying, but Maria always what? Uh, wants to take a bus. Wants to take a bus. Okay. Very good, right? You can leave it there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, we do have to close it here. Good job. Um, all right. Very good. Sylvia, what do you have, Sylvia? Um, I like studying English, but I don't have memory so good. So I like to study English, but... My memory isn't so good. Like that? Okay. All right, very good. All right, very good, very good. Okay, so, uh, all right. So, good job, good job, all right? Jaime, what do you have, Jaime? Uh, <clears throat> I uh, always turn off light. I always turn on the lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the night. Okay, at night. Uh, I always turn on okay. the lights at night. Okay, very good. Good job. Um, Morena Mejia. What do you have, Morena? I like, I don't know. I like, I like chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate. Mm hmm but mm -hmm. um, but okay um I like chocolate but um Okay, I like chocolate, but... Um... Did, did, did you do them or did you not do them? No, I didn't finish. Oh, you didn't finish? Did you finish one? No, no, no. No, no I didn't finish because I, I I had trouble shooting with my internet. Oh, okay, right. Uh, so yeah, you don't I'm have, so sorry. You don't have any of them? Like, not nothing? I got a little bit of idea, but I'm not sure really. Because I wanted three examples, right? Actually, yes, five yes. examples. Yeah. I don't know if can you give me more time. Or I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah let okay. me too. Okay, thank all right, you. Very good. All right. Uh, all right. So, Alejandro, Alejandro did, did you give me your story? Yeah, right. Okay, let's go with Sylvia. What do you have, Sylvia? What's that, teacher? <laughs> Another one? Oh, you already gave me yours? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh who's missing? Um Maximo. What do you got, Maximo? My work. 
My wife works late. She has a lot of work. All right. So you can say my wife works late. Works late. Because she has, she has, right? she has a lot of work. A lot of work. Okay, so we got two clauses here. Very good. All right. Uh, Julissa. Sorry. Pablo is a good artist since he was a child. Pablo is a good artist since he was a child. All right, very good. Good job. Thank you. It's Julio Cesar. What do you have, Julio? Uh, yes. My cell phone is older, but I don't have money for buy new one. Okay, my cell phone is old, you mean, not older. Old. Okay, so my cell phone is old, but I don't have money to for, for to buy a new one? Yep. All right. All right, very good, very good. Okay. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Uh, Jaime Rodriguez? Did you give me yours already? Uh, you can do it, Jaime. You can do it, Jaime. <laughs> um, I usually return later the work uh, week. I usually return late to work. Is that what you said? Okay, all right. I should return later work, but that's only one one clause, right? So we need two clauses in one sentence. Okay, all right, very good. Uh, all right, I think I think that's it, right? Morena, did you did you get yours? Did you get your examples? Actually, no. No? no, because I have some um I don't understand well the the the, the situation right and I was uh, identify good but because I I don't understand so good that topic. Yes. Right. When 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 you don't understand something, do me a favor and please ask questions, okay? So okay, okay. So what okay. is it what is it that uh, you have issues with right now? Basically, all okay. we've seen, all we've seen today is what is a class, right? This is yes. all we've seen. What is a class, right? And what is a class? Uh, what is a class? Uh, it's a group of words that. Um, wait. Very good. Yeah, Hi. it's a group of words. <laughs> I have some difficult right now. I'm so sorry because I arrived to my house with my child. And oh. then I cook the dinner. And then I had a class. I am prepared to take a class. And you know, I'm housekeeper, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, what is the clause? It's a group of words containing a subject and predicate and and function. Um, when Shannon, I was as a member of a yeah, of a complex uh, or compound sentences. Uh, maybe one sentence is depends on the other one, right? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, it's but... it's um, basically all the exercise was to give me a sentence to with with two clauses, right? So you mm -hmm. have the example in front of your of the screen. So you got Cheyenne was a, was very surprised because no one saw the airplane. So in this sentence, because we only have one sentence, mm -hmm. in this sentence we have two clauses. Cheyenne was very surprised, and because no one saw the airplane is the second clause, right? Mm -hmm. So basically, all I wanted to teach you just now is basically the, the definition of a clause. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as mm -hmm. long as you understand what a clause is, that's it. Right. So we have two types of Clauses, guys. We have independent clauses, and then we have dependent clauses. We're not going to see that right now because we need to talk about something more special before, okay? Uh, we need to talk about relative 
pronouns, okay? And I need you to remember this, guys, because this week's class is going to be related to this, okay? To okay. relative pronouns, okay? So what is, first of all, guys, what does a pronoun do in a sentence? Question for everybody. What is the question? Repeat, please. Yeah, what does a pronoun? What does a pronoun do in a sentence? Re replace a subject. Okay, very close, very close, very close. Is that it, guys? It replaces a subject? Or do we have anything else? I think so is when you know is the person, for example, or yeah. the name, the pronouns. Okay. So guys, a pronoun replaces a noun. What does it replace? Noun. A noun. Yes. Okay. It replaces a noun. All right. Okay. Remember that okay. because it replaces a noun. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five different types of relative pronouns. However, we're going to focus only on these. This, this, and this. Okay. Three pronouns. Okay. Those are pronouns. Believe it or not, guys, those are pronouns. Yes, they can be WH questions. I know, except that, right? But they are pronouns, okay? You have to remember this. We're going to use that to talk about people. And we're going to use... We're going to use... I'm sorry. We're going to use that and who to talk about people. Right, I want to point that out. So see who and that will be used to talk about people. So you can interchange them. If you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, guys, it's okay. All right, it all makes sense after we go over the examples, okay? And that can also be used, guys, to talk about things and animals, okay? That can also be used to talk about things and animals. So far, so good? You can yes. use it in the above. Animal yes. and people. Exactly, and yes. Thing. Uh -huh. Okay. But so, it's very important that you remember that, okay? Because we're going to be using that. And then we got an example, right? Uh, it says here, guys, I don't know if you can see, but it says the woman who called yesterday wants to buy the house, okay? So this is the example that we got here, right? Sorry. The woman who called yesterday wants to buy the house, okay? Now, I want to ask you, how many sentences do we have here? Do we have one? Do we have two? Do we have three or more? How many sentences do we have? Three has two. One. One, one sentence. Okay, we have one sentence. You're right. We only have one. How many clauses do we have? Clauses is two. Two clauses. Two? All right. Which are those two clauses? The woman called one, the woman yesterday. Called yesterday. The second. She wants to buy the house 
So we have the woman who called yesterday, then the wants, wants to buy the to house. Buy house. Okay, so we have two, is that it? We have one, guys, okay? okay. Yeah, because subject. wants to buy the house is all predicate now. Exactly. We doesn't have a... We don't have... We don't, have, sorry, oh, we don't have a subject, yes. So the right. subject is the woman. But in, in the, the second part, in the the second part is, mm -hmm. no is only have predicate. Subject. Exactly. All right, all so right. we have one. Got it. Now, I want to tell you why relative pronouns are important. Because you can say... Mm, let's see. We can say, for example... Let me see. Let's say... I'm going to use one of the examples from the platform. So I'm going to say, okay. Um, I'm going to say Maximo, right? Maximo likes people who uh, Let's see, Maximo likes people who know how to drink. Yes? <laughs> All right, because he's got a bar, right? So you can say Maximo likes people who know how to drink, right? So how many clauses do we have here? Mm. Two clauses. All right. Okay. Why do we have two clauses? What do you think? Uh, because who is uh, the subject in wow. this case? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maximum likes people is one clause. And who now how to drink is another clause. Wow. It's the first time someone knows that. From the beginning. Really good job. Plus, guys, that was amazing. Yes. Good job, Julissa. Julissa, all right. Why did you go ahead and replace me and you be the teacher? Go ahead. <laughs> now, hey, uh, Julissa, why didn't you explain to everybody why you're saying that? So what she's saying, guys, okay. Maximum likes people is one clause and who know how to drink is another clause. But Julissa will tell us why. <laughs> okay. Um, who is a relative pronoun that is used for people? Okay. So in this case, we have subject um, only uh, with a noun that is who is right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you get that, guys? For Do you know why? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue. No, he's, he's all. That's all? All right. Okay, so this is what she's saying, okay? So she's saying um, that we have two clauses here. Because remember, what is a clause? What is a clause, guys? A clause is a group of words that contains a subject, a verb, and a whole predicate, right? Are we good? So we got one clause here. Okay, this is one clause. Who know how to drink is the second clause. Why? Because we have a subject. Oh, but why is who a subject? But guys, it's a relative pronoun. So because it's a pronoun, a pronoun replaces a... What does a pronoun replace? Um, it replaces a noun. They. And the noun that it's replacing is who. I mean, the noun that it's replacing is people, okay? So this is a subject, and then we have another verb, and then we have, you know, the predicate. So we have two clauses, got it? We have two clauses because who is considered a pronoun. Yep. In this case, in this case, because if you say, oh, who are you? That's not, a, that's not a pronoun, 
Okay. Sounds good. All right. Guys, do we have any questions? No. no. All right. Did we learn anything new today? Did we learn anything new? Aprendimos algo nuevo hoy? Yes. yes. All right. Very good, guys. So, so. <laughs> So, so, we're, don't worry. We're going to get uh, more practice tomorrow, okay? Guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you guys. Bye. Bye.